So people began to return money, return stolen stuff, put things right with their spouses. Folks confess their infidelity and so on. A clean conscience. Well, if you have a taste for sin and you want to keep declining to lying, lying has become so universal today. I am amazed. And the Bible tells me that all liars will be cast into the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. So you think because you sit under a steeple or play a church organ, you can say as many lies as possible and get away with it. No. All liars. Lies. Lies in the family. All right, how can you have security when you're building anything on lies? Never. How can you live at peace with anybody who is telling you lies? No, that's not possible. There's no peace there. There's suspicion there. There is fear there. So what is this man up to? What is happening here? You see, my dear friends, we don't see people who can say, I have been delivered from lies. You see, first you begin to speak a lie, then you have to act a lie. And when you act a lie, you live a lie. And a whole, your whole life is just a fabric of lies. And today we want to build international peace. on a volcano of lies. How is that possible? You're never going to have peace. Peace comes out of righteousness. You know, here's a companion, here's a partner in business who will never speak a lie, come what may. Ha! You can go to sleep. You don't have to worry about a penny. You know that here's a man who honors, who keeps his word and honors his commitments, and you don't have to have uh, any fear. So, God's method is a man, a righteous man. A righteous man whom God can trust with his power. Now, that's the bottleneck. Power can make a person top-heavy. And then he loses his balance altogether and crashes. What's the good of giving power to a man without holiness? You see, holiness is something which people don't want to talk about. And when you look at any daily paper and the media of today, what are they doing? They are putting on public display the immoral lives of the newsmakers, as they are called. So that's all the news that people want. 
and they want it on the front page of the most prestigious newspaper. What is it all about? Infidelity. Breaking marriage vows. Running off with a mistress. Or running off with the bank's money. And this is all the nation is fed day in and day out. And what do you have? You have a nation without the Ten Commandments to begin with. Now, as soon as you take the Ten Commandments out of anybody, any nation's foundations, you have taken off the strong pillars on which all morality and truth rest. There's no resting place for your family. When you have taken away the Ten Commandments, I am the Lord your God that brought you out of the house of bondmen. Now we might say, hey, I never lived in slavery. Is there any greater slavery than the slavery to sin? No. He that sinneth is the servant of sin. And the sin nature has to be dealt with. It can't be dealt with by doctrine or dogma. No. It can't be dealt with ecclesiastically or by a high-sounding high preacher. No. The sin nature can only be dealt with at the cross of Jesus Christ. What a price he paid. God of very God. Well, don't let anybody quibble about this. The Son of God was manifest in the flesh. The perfect and complete image of God. In, for in him dwelt the fullness of God. Now listen, you may raise up a lot of your doctrines against this, but find me anyone who can touch the bootlaces of Jesus. You'll find none. If you are an honest person, And yet, what do we do? We don't go to the cross. We don't humble ourselves. You know, my dear friends, the key is in humbling ourselves. I don't know what it is. I think by nature, we are a people invested with a ton of pride. We don't seem to know it. We think we are very humble, very nice people. No, not at all. I see pride that seems to come specially from various sources. I say to some people, your degree is too much for your poor head. You have lost your balance. Well, if you were not a big doctor and all that, you would have lived a, such a useful life. But your degree is tripping you up. And you can't be humble. You know, my dear friends, I find great delight in humbling myself. I have much reason to be humble. What's the big deal about that? 